What's going on guys, Josh Polkuk here. Now recently Meta just released their new Llama 3.3 open source AI model. And this new state of the art 70B model is supposed to have similar performance to Llama 3.1 405b model open source models are progressing rapidly and we're seeing them getting closer and closer to actual closed source models we're going to dive into it today show you how you can use it and run some tests and see what it's made of let's dive right into it all right guys so all the links in this video will be linked down below so if you want to take a deeper look at this model, you can definitely check that out. I'm not going to be able to go through each and every little thing today, but I'll start by giving you an overview if you haven't heard of this model. All right, so the main models that Meta currently has is Llama 3.1, which they had the 8B, the 405B, and they had Llama 3.2, which is a lightweight model, which is like 1B and 3B and then 11B and 90B. And now they have Llama 3.3 which is a 70B model. And they've been pushing something which they call the Llama stack. Now, if we look at the Llama 3.3 evals, we can see that they are very impressive. Obviously, I'm not gonna go through each and every little one here. As you can see, Llama 3.3 70B, comparative to Llama 3.1 70B, it is beating that, uh, that model in many different benchmarks, as you can see here, as well as the 405B model, it is, um, just below it in certain areas and it's even above it in uh, other areas so we can see human eval it's just one below uh, math we can see that it's actually four ahead or three ahead of, of the 405b model reasoning it's at 50.5 when the 405b model is at 49 and you can also see it compared to gemini pro 1.5 uh, gpt 4.0 and claude sonnet 3.5 here all right, so benchmarks definitely don't mean everything by any means you know when you actually start testing it sometimes you'll get a better sense which we're going to get into in just a second but as you can see these are definitely some pretty impressive benchmarks you know in certain areas it's actually sometimes a little bit above cloud sonar 3.5 or below cloud sonar 3.5 in other areas so it's impressive to see these open source models catching up now there's a few main different places you can actually access this model if you want to download this model you could go to llama.com forward slash llama downloads right here i'll leave a link down below and you can request access to this model like so and get it right away you could go to hugging face right here and we can see the llama 3.3 instruct model right here we, and we can also go to olama right here we can see llama 3.3 right here we can see all the different information on it right here evals new capabilities tool use etc so Pretty cool all you would do is simply just olama run now you wouldn't need some pretty good hardware to actually run this locally but you can actually access it on either meta.ai or glhf.chat right here which we're going to be using to actually run some tests all right so here are some of the test questions we're going to go ahead and ask llama 3.3 let's dive right into it write a python function to generate the fibonacci sequence up to the 10th number all right so it generated this really fast i'm going to go ahead and run this code all right, so here we have the code. I'm going to run this and we can see that it got this correct. Next, I'm going to say generate a batch script to create 10 files with the names a1.txt through a10.txt. All right, so now we got that script loaded up that it generated. I'm going to run this and boom, it created those files. So that is a pass. Next is a question. A factory produces widgets at a rate that doubles every th three days. If it produces 100 widgets on day one, how many widgets will it produce on day 19? Explain your reasoning step by step. And boom, it got the answer correct, which is 6,400 widgets. And you can see all the different reasoning steps right here, which is actually really good. Next is generate an SVG of a tree. Okay, I pasted the code here. And as you can see, this is a pass. All right, next I'm going to ask it a pretty hard question that I haven't seen really any LLM pass just because they're not really that great at counting. Specifically, generate 13 sentences that have 10 words and end in the word monkey. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. This is like one of the only ones that I at least remember um, that actually generated, it seems, at least for my count, each and every phrase or sentence has about nine words in it and they do end in the word monkey. But then I said, okay, these have nine words, it should have 10. And then they said, here are 13 new sentences with exactly 10 words that end in the word monkey. And from what I can see, it literally just gave me the exact same output. So, so this is a fail, but I mean, it 
was almost kind of impressive that it got nine like it did each one having nine most of the models i've done this test on it will have like 10 11 even 13 8 right so it's a fail though next is generate me the pawn game using python all right so now i got the code in here i'm going to run it and boom we got the pawn game here it has a scoreboard at the top this is definitely one of the better pawn games that um one of the models has generated it pretty much has everything working well out of box the scoreboard is working so this is definitely a pass all right next is a question a man stands on the riverside his dog on the other the man calls his dog who immediately crosses the river without getting wet and without using a bridge or a boat how did the dog do it the answer is that the river was frozen that's correct next is create a landing page using css js html it should be a website for a beauty store that has a header banner features testimonials and checkout section make it look professional and very modern all right so i got the code here let's go ahead and check this out Okay, so here is the beauty store. We got the home products about us. Contact us. We got a banner, a featured section right here, a customer testimonial section, a checkout section. So all in all, it's definitely not beautiful. It's you know not the greatest store by any means, and I personally want to use it, but it did get this question correct, so that is a pass. All right, next question. You are in a room that has three switches and a closed door. The switches control three light bulbs on the other side of the door. Once you open the door, you may never touch the switches again. How can you definitely tell which switch is connected to each of the light bulbs? All right, so it said turn switch one to the on position for five minutes. This is to heat up the corresponding light bulb. Turn switch one to the off position and turn switch two on to the on position. Immediately open the door and observe the light bulbs. The light bulb that is on is controlled by switch two. The light bulb that is off but is warm is controlled by switch one. And the light bulb that is cold is switch three. That is correct. All right, next is I left my campsite and hiked south three miles. Then I turned east, hiked south, uh, east for three miles. Then I turned north, hiked for three miles, at which point I came across a bear inside my tent eating food. What color was the bear? All right, so it realized that the only way you can actually hike um, down, right, and then up and be at the same spot is the north pole, which would mean it is a polar bear, which, which would mean that it is white. So that is correct. All right, so next is an answer that most LLMs have gotten wrong. It is how many words are in your answer here. Let's see what it gets. Okay, so it says the conversation has just begun. Okay, I'm going to try again and say how many words are in your response here. All right, so it said in my response, there is one word. That is incorrect. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is another fail. All right, next question. In a room, there are two men. One lies and one always tells the truth. You don't know which is which you may ask one question to one of the men to determine which room le which door leads to freedom and which it leads to death which question do you ask to so solve this i would ask one man if i were to ask the other man which door leads to freedom what would he say if i asked the truth teller he would tell me that the liar would point to the door that leads to death if i asked a liar he would tell me what the truth teller would say and say and point to the door that leads to death so regardless of who i ask the answer will steer me away from the door that leads to freedom I can safely assume that the opposite door leads to freedom. So that is correct. All right, next question, you have three boxes labeled apples, oranges, and apples and oranges. Each box is labeled incorrectly. You can open one box and look inside. How can you label all boxes correctly by opening only one box? All right, so it said since all the labels are incorrect, the box labeled apples and oranges cannot actually contain both apples and oranges. It must contain either apples or oranges. Let's say I open the box and find only apples inside. This means the box labeled apples cannot contain only apples since it's labeled incorrectly. It must contain oranges. The box labeled oranges must contain both apples and oranges since the other two options are taken. If I open the box and find only oranges inside, the logic is similar. The box labeled oranges contains apples and oranges and the box labeled apples contains oranges. All right, so this is correct. All right, so next is find the derivative of fx equals x to the power 3, subtract 3x to the power 2, plus 2x subtract 1. All right, so it said that the answer is fx equals 3x to the power 2, subtract 6x plus 2, which is correct. Next is solve the system of equations 2x plus y equals 5x, subtract y equals 1. All right, so this answer is x equals 2 and y equals 1, which is correct. Next is a car travels 100 meters in 5 seconds. What is the average speed in meters per second and kilometers per hour? And it got 20 meters per second and 72 kilometers per hour, which is correct. All right, next is the heights of a group of students follow a normal distribution with a mean of 170 centimeters and a standard deviation of 10 centimeters. 
what percentage of students are taller than 180 centimeters? And it got approximately 15.87% of students are taller than 180 centimeters, which is correct. All right, next is write a Python one-liner that creates a list of numbers, a list of all numbers from one to a hundred that are divisible by seven. All right, so I got the code here. I'm going to run it. And you can see that we got all the different numbers that are divisible by seven here. So that's another pass. Next is create a responsive grid layout with HTML and CSS that displays four items per row on large screens, two items per row on medium screens, and one item per row on small screens. Okay, and here is our code live. Let's go ahead and shrink the screen here. So we got four items. On a medium sized screen, we got two. And then on a small screen, we got one. So that is correct again. All right, so there are all the questions. Uh, honestly, I definitely need to get harder questions now that these open source models are getting a lot more advanced. But as you can see, I mean, it did this similar type um, results as O1 and Claude Sonnet 3.5. Um, it did a little bit better than DeepSeek 2.5, at least when we did the test here, DeepSeek failed on a couple. Um, so all in all, guys, I think Llama 3.3 is a pretty great model, and it is exciting to see these open source models catching up in some regard to these closed source models. I think we're going to see a huge boom in open source models in 2025, and just the AI space in general. It's so crazy right now what's going on in so many different areas. A lot of new updates are happening. I'm going to make sure to fill you guys in. We upload videos all the time on marketing, sales, AI, open source tools, tech. So if you like that type of content, you got some value here, make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads. Also too, guys, if you haven't already joined our free community, stridecommunity.com for our free Facebook group and Discord channel. I'll leave a link down below. And then also too, we actually just launched our new Stride AI Academy. I've been working really hard on it this week. I've been filming course content and doing a bunch of stuff to get ready, it ready for you guys. So definitely join right now while it is free. There may be a price tag to it in the future, and it is going to be jam-packed with a bunch of different free resources, resource vault, courses. You're going to be able to network with myself as well as other like-minded individuals. So definitely check that out below right now. And then also do guys, if you run a business and you need help with marketing, sales, implementing AI, AI agents, AI call center into your business to call your leads, book appointments for you on autopilot while you sleep then book a call down below at executivestrad.com forward slash apply. And we can see if it's a fit or not. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Let me know what your thoughts are about Llama 3.3. Have you tested it? Do you think it's better than Llama 3.1 405B? Do you think it's the best open source model out there? Or do you think another model is better? I will see you in the next video, guys. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.